All right guys, welcome back to another car review. Today we have a very pretty car, just like our cameraman. Aww. Uh, I'm just joking. This is the Mercedes GLE 53 and it's got all the AMG things going on. So we'll get into that in a minute, but before we do, let's just take a look at the engine. This car comes with a 3 liter inline 6 turbo engine with EQ boost and it makes 429 horsepower and 384 pound feet of torque. Alright guys, let's take a look at this AMG grill here. Full of holes and the more holes the better really. Uh, but then you come to this Mercedes logo that just couldn't get any bigger. Uh, and then they said we'll make this ring behind it to kind of not enlarge the Mercedes emblem. But they did. That's the thing. It does look big. It cannot get any bigger, but it's good. Because it does have the Distronic and Adaptive Cruise Control all sitting inside there. You get these daylight running stripes and you also get these multi-LED headlights which are blinding but they're fantastic. Here, take a look. Alright guys, moving on to the bumper. You get this very nice AMG bumper here. Um, unfortunately, this is not the night package. Otherwise, this lip right here would be black. Also, this piece would be black and those air combs would also be black. Now, I call those air combs because they kind of just comb the air to the side, into the vents there, um, to give you better aerodynamics. So, yeah, they're not really called that. I don't know what they're called, but air combs seems good for now. All right, guys, moving on to the wheels. You get these 22-inch AMG-specific wheels with AMG-specific calipers and a ventilated brake disc and speaking of ventilation you guys see these masks they're ventilated you also see this logo it's really cool now when you put that on you get ventilation and you get a cool logo and you're staying safe from covid so great marketing that was good yeah <laughs> no okay. let's move on all right guys moving on to the rear it looks very aggressive it looks very cool and especially those tail lights they look like they're Amazing tail lights as you guys can see and here is some indicator for you Next up is the diffuser this diffuser looks really really sick and it's complemented with quad exhausts now take a listen You also get this lip spoiler here you take a look also get some design plastic over here now that is definitely only for design purposes and uh, it does look nice but it's not functional if that's what you're looking for something that's not functional also is this vent on the side here just for design purposes just like every car we need to check the trunk space so you do get a fair amount of space in the trunk here it's uh, it's pretty cool you do get one very cool feature though if you come take a look at this this will lower the car for you and uh, you know in case you have some sort of uh, heavy bags or something can't lift up and throw in there this will get it done for you now let's jump inside I know you're probably excited to see the new steering wheel and I'm excited to show you the new steering wheel uh, but you've got to wait a minute I'll show you a couple of things before um, and then we'll talk about the steering wheel Guys, first thing I want to show you is this area over here. Now, I know heated seats are no news to you. Um, and, you know, seat memory and moving your seats and all these things are, you know, very common nowadays. But if you just take a look at this button over here, when you press that, now look at our cameraman, okay? Look at what we're doing to her. So we are controlling her seat and we can control everything just like in the S class now notice how she's not moving her hands it's it's all me I'm doing it all look I'm gonna move her forward and she's moving forward sorry if the camera's a little bit shaky um, but with this you really can control uh, the passenger seat and the good thing about this is when you have a passenger that sat in the seat and they kind of messed up your seat and I do get this a lot someone just sat in a very bad position and you want to fix it up all you have to do is just click over here and just move the person and the cameraman is just <laughs> laughing like what's going on but yeah I mean it's a pretty cool feature speaking of cool let's take a look at the panoramic roof here 
Um, if you want to move it back, you just give it tiny little pushes and it will just kind of struggle. Uh, or you can just give it one good old push and it will slide all the way back and then you can enjoy this beautiful view of the sky here. I guess it's, it's not very aesthetic, is it? But you know, it's the sky is the sky and you know, they, it's good. You can also do something like this. You push it up and uh, it will open up just the slightest bit. And uh, if you do the same thing, but from the other side, it just kind of opens up everything for you. And then you'll have some very fresh air coming in. And if you have kids, they can stand outside there. Now, I don't think that, that that's legal where you are, but you can, you can do that. That's pretty fun. Kids do have fun, so make sure your kids are having fun. All right, guys, as promised, the steering wheel. So let's get into that. So the steering wheel of this car, this is the new steering wheel or whatever, and it's, it's beautiful, all right? There is so much that you can do that you, you probably never thought about. So uh, let's take a look at some of the things you can do. We'll start with this because this is the most fun out of everything you can do. Uh, here you choose your driving options so you can um, have sport plus you can have sport you can have comfort you can have individual you can have uh, slippery mode and all these different kinds of modes as you can see here in the infotainment system you have sand trail slippery individual and uh, once it gets to sport things start getting a bit more red and moving on to the other side you have this small screen now let's say you want to change your suspension um, to just comfort and you just have to click here now if you want to change something else other than the suspension what you have to do is touch this and it will give you the other options for example here we have traction control off but let's just put that back on and uh, you know all these different types of things um, so this is pretty cool I thought it was touch screen and I was trying to figure it out but it turns out it's not it's just another button moving on up here this is the distronic and on the side here you can set your speed for cruise control and then you can set your cruise control uh, speed limiter all these things nothing really new or special here we've all been used to these things but here's the thing you have this button over here that lets you control the dashboard which is it's just it's very cool I don't know like this is something that takes me back to the Blackberry days and it's just I don't know if you you've lived long enough to own a blackberry then you know what this button really feels like um, and moving on to the other side over here um, you also have the same thing you have the you know pick up the phone hang up volume you can control your volume from here um, voice controls you go back but this is for the infotainment system so you can control your infotainment system with this which is something that you cannot complain about a lot of people were complaining about oh but we need to reach over and we need to do this and we need to do that but with this you just have to just do that and it's as simple as that finally you get these very high quality paddle shifters now take a look at this they are very very good I really like those paddle shifters they feel very high quality they don't feel plasticky they feel like they're really in place it's really good quality so uh, let's move on to the infotainment system so there's three different ways to control the infotainment system one way was the blackberry button thingy and then the second way is Touch screen, so it is a touch screen as well. Um, it's very, very responsive. It's very good. It's very nice. You have all these different things you can do. You have the AMG performance um, option where you can really can, can you can do a lot of things to it as well. You have the whole look at that. So you know it's cool. It looks cool. It's for maybe the more youngish guys who just want to have some fun. You've got all the things you need, and. Um, Let's move on to the third way that you can control this infotainment system. This is the final way that you can uh, control your infotainment system. So uh, you have this little pad over here and you can kind of just navigate through things. Uh, it's very cool, it's very responsive. And most of the time, your passenger will be using this and you will be using this as well. Most of us are used to controlling infotainment systems from something down here. So it would make sense if we just scroll through there and yeah that's really about it for the infotainment system because I know a lot of you guys don't like when I talk about infotainment systems um, so we're just gonna move on to this area over here real quick cup holder area you have this really cool thing so let's say you put your drink in here you can have it cooled or you can have it heated and then here you have um, a wireless charger but it's nothing new so let's just move on down here you do have these hot buttons and uh, 
<laughs> I'm joking. It's not really hot. Oh, was it that boring? <laughs> Yeah, it's a cute. These hot buttons here, um, you can control the gearbox, traction control. You can raise the car, and the car is rising right now. And you can lower it, and the car is getting lower right now. And that is pretty cool. And next to it, you have the suspension button, and then next to that, you'd have the exhaust button. So. You know, it's pretty pretty simple, pretty predictable, if that makes sense. You do have the second main controls. Um, speaking of controls, let's look at the gear selector. You have it sitting right over here. You have park, neutral, drive, reverse. So, you know, all the basics, really. Moving on to the dashboard here, you have your speedometer, and then you have a navigation thingy over here, which you obviously can change uh, to many different things. You can also put the odometer so you can see your revs so yeah it's some cool digital stuff going on nowadays um, I do miss kind of the analog things but this is this is okay uh, we have to move forward so I guess it's time hey guys now we're gonna launch the car no we need to check out the back oh, you're kidding. <laughs> okay guys let's check out the back <laughs> then launch the car Alright guys, moving on to the back here, you do get some good space. I mean, the seats are pretty comfortable and we did not talk about the seats in the front. Um, so here, take a look at this. They are AMG seats and they do look pretty cool. Um, so yeah, back seats though, same concept. Look at these red seat belts. And as for headspace, it's perfect. I am not the tallest person in the world, but I am not the shortest guy in the world. And I am, I think I'm like 181, 180, something like that. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty comfortable in here, even though like it does feel a little bit tight from the side, but it's, you know, it's, it's quite nice. If you're going to have your kids sit in the back here, um, or have someone smaller sit back here, because don't forget, I am quite big in size. So yeah, that's, that's one thing you need to consider. Um, there is three seats in the back and the middle guy will be more of a climate control man, because really that's all he's doing is just, uh, controlling the climate. You do get a couple of AC vents in the back here. You get one over here and you do get one on the passenger side. Let's get to the front and launch. we can launch it now, right? Yes. yes. All right, now let's get to the front and launch the car. We're gonna launch the car in comfort now and uh, we'll see how it's Because whenever I expect something out of a car, I end up being disappointed. So I'm just not expecting anything. Foot on the brake and give it some gas and off we go. Wow, okay. There's a bit of a turbo lag, but after you get over that, the car just pushes you. At the 3000 RPM, the car does really give you a great push. Um, now I'm really excited for this Sport Plus. Uh, so let's put it in Sport Plus. The car right now is in the sportiest settings and what we're gonna do is put on the brake all the way guys. This car's performance is really breathtaking and it's very responsive, like, it's crazy. Look at that, and wow. Horsepower is really put to use. Uh, I don't want to be childish because I was told not to be childish, but when you drive a car like this and then you do this, and then you just kind of get this massive pushback, I mean, come on, the car really drives great. And I don't know why people don't like the GLE 53. They're like, if it's not 63, it's not good. But no, this car is really good. And it, it has really proven itself. Like, right? come on, come on, come on. Look at this, look at this. It's just, fortunately, we don't have access to a track. We don't have access um, to, a, you know, somewhere good where we can really, really test the performance of the car. But from what I've seen so far, the car is really, really good and it does perform really well. Um, I know it's not really SUV SUV, it is a, you know, an SUV coupe, uh, but you know, it, it kind of falls under the whole SUV thing and it is just unbelievably responsive. We drop shift, now we're in first gear and you just give it that. Just straight away it picks up. All right guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to make the right decision when you're buying this car and uh, enjoy this walk around of the car and I'll see you guys next video.